Welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys. We're here in Shilokan in Lansing, Michigan. And today, my special guest is Daniel Frederick. Hey, doing, sir? Hey, I'm good, Christian. How are you? I'm doing good, sir. Hope you're enjoying the con. I'm having a blast. Yeah, it's my first con. I'm having a really good time. Okay, excellent. So, we got a few questions. First sure. I'm going to ask you, what's it like working in the voice acting industry? Uh, well, it's something that I did. Uh, I did for a period of time after I graduated from college uh, in Fort Worth, um, and I haven't really done it since then because it's so site specific. And once I left Texas, uh, there just weren't very many opportunities for it. But the short time that I did, I spent working on Black Butler and Small Rules and a couple other shows. I had a really, really awesome time uh, working with the great people at Funimation and and uh, working on some really cool stories. Okay, that's good. So I was like working on Shin Chen. Uh, that was a really great experience. Uh, it was just such a, like, it's such a bizarre show and such a kind of funny, uh, I don't know, I love the sense of humor of it. And so getting to do something that, uh, that kind of absurd and, and, like, purely silly as opposed to the darker, a little bit, some slightly more grounded world of, of Black Butler. That was a really fun kind of diversion. Okay. That was an interesting show for many people, especially the comedy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like, yeah, I, the, I think I watched... When I watched a couple clips of it, I was I was at first very baffled, and then I watched a little bit more, and I, I, I really started to enjoy it. It's it's very funny and absurd, and uh, a lot of fun to watch. Very good. So I was like working on Black Butler, since you're well known for that. Yeah, yeah, that was it's the one series that I had a, a you know a sort of a big substantial role on, uh, and and I couldn't have asked for for a better one. Uh, just the way that people care about the series and, and care about the characters and the storytelling on it. Uh, it was awesome. I got to work with, with Ian Sinclair on that, um, and I loved our collaboration in the first two seasons. Um, I would work with Ian again on anything if the opportunity came up. Um, yeah, yeah, Black Butler was, was a total blast, and, the char and Grell, the character, is so absurd and, and outlandish, and, and you never know what he's going to do next. So that was a really exciting thing to get to, to try and bring to life for people. Okay, that's good. So if you could be any character in real life, who would you be? You could make some match. Oh, I think probably Grell. <laughs> yeah, because when else would you get to play uh, like a cross-dressing mass murderer uh, <laughs> with a lot of like gender identity confusion issues and unrequited love? Uh, yeah, I think that would be pretty spectacular. <laughs> okay. So, is there anything you could, you could talk about that's coming out? What you want to plug in at this time? Uh, I just uh, a, a film uh, that I shot a couple of years ago called Treehouse just came out on Redbox, um, so you can watch it at home for just a dollar. Uh, yeah, yeah, I shot it uh, out in uh, uh, the middle of Missouri with a great crew of, of folks from Atlanta, LA, uh, and the Missouri Film Film Coalition. Um, yeah, we had a great time, so check that out. Uh, I had a really good time working on that movie, and I hope people enjoy it. I'll check it out too. Yeah, yeah, do it, man. Let me know what you think of it. I, I haven't seen it yet. I'm, I can't, horror movies are too much for me, so I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what, what was it like working on Initial D? Uh, the smaller stuff that I, uh, not, not small, I mean, those are very popular, but my contribution to like Initial D and Chaos Head was pretty small. So, uh, you know, it was just sort of like, it, it was kind of small stuff that Ian would say, hey, we got something for you uh, that we'd love to have you jump on board for. Um, and so that was great because I came in and it you know, was a lot less, uh, much more low pressure situation than Black Butler because um, I, you know, I could just come in and, and do an episode, you know, create kind of a silly character in a one-off situation. Uh, so that was, yeah, those, those were great experiences and, and uh, uh, definitely, definitely memorable even though they were, my contribution to them was, was smaller than to something like Black Butler. Okay. Well, Cass had since you just mentioned it. What's that? Cass had. I was like working on it. Yeah, I mean, it's a similar thing. All those were pretty, uh, you know, pretty much in that vein of, of getting to have, have some fun doing something briefly that was a little bit different. Okay. Final question. And we asked this to all the voice actors. Okay. Any Facebook, Twitter, or any social media that fans can reach you or get hold of you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love it. Uh, I love fans following me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, my Twitter handle is P-H-O-L-S-O-M, Folsom. Uh, my Instagram is same thing, Folsom, uh, with the number 32. Okay. Well, we appreciate the time. You yeah, thank us. you, man. It was yeah. a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Yeah, hope to see you next time. Absolutely. Right. We are the Ohio guys. Thank you for tuning in for another edition. I'm Christian. He's Daniel. And we'll see you next time.